Halo 4 is going to be released this fall, and um, they just announced it. Well, I'll tell you, I'm really excited about this because it turns out that I'm going to be a part of Halo 4. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you. Basically, here is how it works. I recently met with the Halo design team. This is just a couple of days ago, and I brought along a camera crew to discuss my role in Halo 4, and it's all very exciting. Here's what happened. Hey, this is pretty exciting. I'm sitting here with uh, two of the brainchilds behind Halo 4, uh, Frank O'Connor, uh, who is the franchise director. Yes. Is that correct? Yep. And uh, Kiki Wolfkill. Found name. That is an insane name. That is fantastic. Yes. So Frank O'Connor and Kiki Wolfkill. Yeah. So you're yeah. like a Nordic dragon slayer, and you're her bartender. <laughs> I'm not a gamester. Right. I'm not a gamesman. My last uh, video game that I was pretty good at was Pong. These are games uh, where uh, you can play with other people in the world and you never know who you're playing with. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Have there been hookups through Halo? Yeah, marriages. Oh, yes, marriages. marriages. We've had people walk down the aisle to Halo music, so they take it pretty seriously. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> um, now, guys, you had offered to show me a quick sample of the new Halo 4, just to familiarize myself with the, with the game. That's yeah, right. some top secret, highly confidential footage. Okay, this is footage that is not ready to be seen by people. Correct. So I'm gonna take a look at this. Uh, for you, the viewing public, we're gonna edit in footage that's close or similar to what you would see, but not the same. When we left the Chief last, he was trapped aboard the frozen wreckage of a starship, adrift in an unknown region of space, and coming into orbit around something. What is it that you're interested in having me do? There's a moment in, near the end of the game where the Master Chief is about to go into war, and the last thing he's going to see is a couple of Marines living a, a real moment, and we felt that you were just the voice that we needed for at least one of those characters. Do I have a gun? You will, have a, you will have a weapon, yeah. Can my, can my character fire it? Um, You've chosen not to use it. Right. Yeah. You've chosen to... Yeah. A, a coward. You're a thinker. <laughs> no, you're, you're a coward. So you're saying that my character does not fight, but any character can kill me? <laughs> yes or no? There's really no reason they would do that. I don't think kids are just going to automatically go wail on your character unless they knew he was uh, at the you bottom of the ramp. You didn't grow up the way I did, right. I mean, pal, okay? <laughs> People wailed on this character plenty, and for no reason. Where am I? You say I'm, I'm doing some kind of yeah. preparatory work. Let's be specific here. You are in a massive hangar on the largest, most powerful starship that humanity has ever built. It just sounds like a loading dock. It is, it is somewhat of a loading dock. I'm on a loading dock. You could say I'm on a Death Star. I'm hoping to load stuff before you a battle. You are surrounded by very important equipment. I'm a clerk in a loading dock. You're, you're and a I'm a very, I'm a coward. I have a gun, but I don't know how to use it. If, Just nod your head if that's the essence of it. Yes, thank you, and thank you. I had a thought to make this character a little more Conan O'Brien. All right. Which, are you guys Ooh. okay <laughs> if this is what we go with? I'd just like there to be some hint that, oh, that might be yeah. a talk show host. I, I do like the personality yeah. coming through. So what if we even went a, a step further and you could just get, like, <laughs> oh, what? I'd like some sense that it's me. I mean, this is a cool thing to be in Halo 4. I don't want to be completely anonymous. Are you open to this idea and be honest? Parts of it, yes. Parts meaning this part? That yeah, that part is great. We could just put a kind of a gold or a silver visor yeah. over it. That would hide my face. It, it would protects. protect your face. If I can't show my face, are you guys open to this concept that I'm holding a sign? Do you think this would interfere with my clerical work on the death ship? It's um, subtle. You do need to be able to hold crates. I got Floating. you to admit I'm loading crates. Can I use different pitches and tones, or do you want me to use my real voice, or do a character? What kind of character do you have in mind? Do you have an accent? Oh, <laughs> I'll be loading the crates now, will I? <laughs> Hello, governor. You want these crates up my space, you do, you do? These crates. Oh, very important. I think you might have hit that. That's uh, that. Yeah. Must be long. 
take it to the spaceship. That's why you get sent out first. Yeah. I think it's great. Gotta get them loaded up. I wish I hadn't smoked as a child. <laughs> a blend. Yeah, crates. Yeah, it's crates in there. Yeah. It's sounding a little like. Yeah. Yeah, we get these crates. Gotta get them loaded up. Yeah. The guy get killed fast. By his own men. Listen, that'll never make air. I had a thought. I have a friend who is fantastic at voiceover work. He's got the best pipes in the business. He's a natural. Hollywood type? Big Hollywood type. Hot? Big Hollywood type. <laughs> Andy, come on in. All right. Andy's worked in a lot of animation. He's the, the voice of Mr. Quibbles mm -hmm. on the Quabble Hour. Right, right. Uh, he did Peanut McNulty right. in the Jub Jub show. Sclab Thor 6. Sclab Thor 6 and the Sclab Thor 7 show, mm -hmm. which is an ironic name. Let's proceed to the booth and let's record these voices. What do you say? Let's make some art. What'd you say? Let's make some art. No, no, let's just record us. Okay. <laughs> Are we all set? All right. All right, you just tell us uh, what you want. We're pros and we'll give it to you. So the basic setup is that you are in the, this hangar in the loading section. You're standing near some crates uh, working on logistics for the hangar bay. It'll be good to get these crates loaded. <laughs> the crates are important for the battle. They'll need crates for the battle. Right. <laughs> I think these are mostly uh, frontline office supplies. My crate says snacks. <laughs> Various snacks. They probably wouldn't miss a few if you know what I'm saying. I already opened my crate a little bit. I took out some space peanuts. My father thinks I'm a coward. Well, I think he's right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you were saying. I was peeing in my suit. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's Master Chief. All right. Let's hear it from Master Chief. What a dick. <laughs> Would you crack my back for me? Sure, I'll just get my knee in here. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. This is a pretty sweet union we're in. It's fantastic. Stand near the crates, right. but don't ever move them. Right. <laughs> Who has the keys to this thing, anyway? No. Do you have the keys to it? No, no. Well, how are we supposed to get these crates in there if we, we can't open the back door? I know. This is what you'd call a design glitch. Well... <laughs> I sure hate my life. I started taking antidepressants about six weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm impotent now. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, it's not like I'm getting any action anyway. Exactly. Back to standing still. Yep. I guess if we stand here long enough, someone will kill us. Who would be jerky enough to do that? And yeah. if they did kill us, I'm sure they'd show our bodies only the ultimate respect. Yeah. No victory crouching on our faces. Nope. Wake up. Time to go on break. Can we just get you guys making sounds like people are pummeling you with the butt yeah. of their right Sure, sure. Oh, ow, oh, hey, what? Ow, cut it, ow, stop, ow. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Oh, 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 you hurt my feelings. Get it. Good times.